In treating sciatica, the first thing you're going to want to do is to clean up any low back dysfunction. All right. So if you have any low back pain, do the exercises, learn the behaviors of good posture, good movement, so that um, you clean up any lumbar spine disorders because it's most common that sciatica is stemming from the lumbar spine. All right. So that's number one. So treat your low back first, and that'll often just clean up a lot of the sciatica symptoms. Number two is you're going to want to address any of the myofascial restrictions. All right. So we do that in a few ways. And I'd say the first thing to do is to um, clean up any of your faulty movements. So if you're walking the wrong way or bending the wrong way or sitting the wrong way, all of that will lead to some type of irritation in the muscles. All right. For example, if I'm walking like this here, all right, and as I step and I lean to the side here, that's going to lead to tension in my iliotibial band here and lead to an irritated buttock. All right. So if I just walk correctly without leaning from side to side, taking the short, quick step as described in the good form walking video, then um, I won't get any of any more, at least of those uh, myofascial restrictions. Number two is strengthening up the weak link. So if my buttocks are weak, I literally can't walk the right way. All right. And they'll get irritated. So a lot of muscles that are weak actually get irritated. So you need to find what's weak and you need to make it strong. It's very common with sciatica that the weakness is in the posterior lateral buttock region here. So there's a lot of buttock strengthening and hip strengthening videos on the website that'll teach you how to address those weak links. It'll make it strong. And as it gets stronger, it'll actually become less tender and less irritated. All right, to get things moving in the right direction, you're going to want to do some form of myofascial release. All right, so myofascial release, another word for that is just massage. Okay, so any massage that you do with your hands, a lacrosse ball, a foam roller, uh, a rolling pin, someone else's hands, all right, any of that is just going to bust up some of the kinks in the muscles so that they can actually start performing better. And actually, by doing some form of massage, you'll soon find if that area is irritated, by just massaging it, all of a sudden it becomes less irritable, less tender, the muscle starts working better. Lastly, and this thing you have to be careful with, is stretching, okay? Um, there is a time and a place to do some stretching uh, for some muscles, but you got to be careful because a lot of muscles are actually irritated because some of the fibers in the cross bridges, all right, let me just show you how muscles work here. Some fibers grab other fibers and they create a contraction, all right? Often what will happen is some of those fibers and cross bridges are actually torn, and if you, keep, if you stretch them too much, they'll become more torn. So you got to be careful with some stretching, but nevertheless, if things are really tight and scarred down, they could use some stretching. The one thing I'm going to warn you about is just be careful though stretching your buttocks, okay? Um, doing a stretch like this where you're, um, you know, a traditional piriformis stretch or a pigeon pose stretch. Um, it's real common uh, with sciatica that these muscles are actually overstretched already from lots of sitting or leg crossing or sleeping with your leg crossed over. Um, those muscles are overstretched and partially torn already and if you stretch them it's only going to make them worse. Areas you'd really want to look to stretch typically would be in the hip flexors because that would throw your posture off. That really just goes into low back treatment. Um, and then also too in your hamstrings, which prevent us from bending forward without rounding our back. Okay. If you do have a tight joint capsule, maybe in your buttock, you might want to try some of the buttock stretches, but you just got to be careful. All right. Um, so that's basically how you treat sciatica. You start in the back and then you look for any of those myofascial restrictions. You do some form of massage, some strength from some strengthening and maybe some stretching. And uh, hopefully that'll help with some of the symptoms.